All right, man, stop what you're doing now and come over to the couch. Sit down and join us for this next interview because June is Men's Health Month, and Dr. Charles R. Cocky from the University uh, Universal Men's Clinic wants you to know that there are health issues that men suffer from that are treatable. Uh, joining the doc is UFC Hall of Famer and uh, stuntman, athlete, cover two analyst, <laughs> Frank Trigg. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks. for having us. Tell us about uh, June and Men's Health Month. Yeah, you know, uh, June is designated uh, Men's Health Month uh, because, you know, men tend to not want to come in and see their doctors. Uh, so we, we want to remind uh, men to, to, if you haven't seen your doctor in a while, go see them and get your blood pressure checked, get your cholesterol, get your glucose checked. Um, if you're feeling the symptoms of low testosterone, get your testosterone levels checked. Um, you know, things such as decreased energy, strength, endurance maybe not performing in the bedroom as, as, as well as you did previously. These are signs that maybe your check engine light might be on mm. and, and go in and get it uh, checked. And if you uh, need to just fall asleep, we can listen to your voice because it's so <laughs> soothing. I, I, I love listening to your commercial because I'm like, man, oh man, you've got a great voice for television. Okay, so tell us why should men get their testosterone level checked? You know, that's the, the main reason is if you're feeling those symptoms. Uh, the decrease in energy, strength and endurance, performance in the bedroom. These are signs that, that your, your testosterone level may be uh, not optimal. And that's where we come in. We, we get those levels checked. Uh, if, they're, uh, um, if they need to be treated, we address it. We check all the different labs that need to be monitored whenever you're on testosterone. Because as we age, unfortunately, we lose 1% to 2% of our testosterone production per year. Wow. And if you have a stressful job, Unfortunately, that can even uh, further decrease your testosterone production. Stressful job. I would imagine UFC, <laughs> stuntman, I would yeah. that, imagine that's pretty stressful. I would imagine that's pretty intense. And how, how the, the, the treatments at Universal Men's Clinic helped your lifestyle? I had, um, so I'm, when I first met with Doc, it was about four years ago, I was like, I looked the part of a fighter still. Even mm -hmm. though I had retired, I still looked like I could have fought. I thought when I took the first blood draw that they would like find the cure for cancer in my bloodstream and and want to replicate it to stop all you know everyone's cholesterol and stop everyone's heart attack because I wasn't such physically fit. Wow. And then you, you get that that game show noise when you screw up on the on the game that, that when you lose. <laughs> yep, yep. That's what that's what I heard when he called me. It was like, hey, look, by the way, you're you're at one third the level you're supposed to be at the lowest end. So wow. I was I had every symptom but kept blaming it on something else. And finally I said, look, I just have to get in and start getting this function now. I hadn't moved into full-time stunts yet at that point. Mm -hmm. After I moved into full-time stunts and able to do it. Now, it seems like, oh, well, stunts seems, you know, uh, uh, relatively hard, just like hard like fighting, but it's a different kind of mentality. You get hit three or four times during a round in a fight really hard. In a stunt, you don't get hit as hard, but you do it 17 times. So yeah. it was worse on my body. And so because of Universal Men's Clinic and Doc, I'm able to do it, not to mention my, I'm a better husband, I'm a better, I'm a better father, I'm a better partner, like I'm able to get off the couch when I get home from work and be able to go do stuff as opposed to just hitting my thumb on the button. <laughs> I'm actually interactive with my children, I'm actually interactive with my wife, I'm actually doing things. Want to go out, want to cook dinner, want to go hiking, which all the end of the day because my partnership is better, my stunts are better, my acting is better, my commentary is better, everything is better because I don't have that stress for being at home. And it's, it's kind of that, that significant ball rolling thing that got me started. It was like, wow, I really need to get my, my levels checked up and check what's happening with my body. Iron Man. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Better everything all around. Trying to be. Trying Environmental to be. lifestyle factors that influence a man's testosterone level, how does that work? Sure, and, and that's mainly to do with the, um, the, uh, the stress uh, levels and the cortisol production. Um, you know, sometimes people talk about uh, BPH uh, containing um, uh, plastic products which can convert uh, 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 testosterone to estrogen, uh, which can be uh, certainly a bad thing uh, to a certain degree. Um, so these are things that you need to kind of, you know, watch for. See, kind of look honestly at yourself and see if you're feeling these things. How can somebody get in touch with you guys? Universalmensclinic.com, and they can make an appointment right online, or uh, they can give us a call uh, at 237-3663. Uh, Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate Tom. it. Appreciate Thank it. you for Good helping us out there, and, and have a great month. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, coming up on...